Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Jasmine Janice. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If this is your first time, make sure you subscribe. I mean, you're already here and I know you want to see how, how I got this great pink look. Um, before I let you get into the video, somewhere after me doing my face, I have no idea where that footage went. But you will see my eye look and me do everything else. But once after I was contouring, it disappeared. I'm so sorry, but I have no time to redo my face look. But I pretty much do the same. All you miss is the highlight and the blush and the pink lip, which is, to me, not a big deal. But um, if you do want to know what I use, I will leave it in the description after you tell me you want to know what I use. I mean, leaving all those products in there takes a long day. And I'm very busy, but I have been uploading quite a bit these last two days that I've been off. And then after that, I will try to do more next weekend. But until then, enjoy what I have. Uh, always come back. I know I'm like randomly uploading, but you know, if you hit the notification button, you will know when I upload a new video. But without further ado, enjoy my soft glam look that I did today and I hope you enjoy it. So first I am gonna take this little mini razor. You can like buy it at like the uh, CVS and Walgreens and stuff like that. Um, I just wanted to clean up my eyebrows before I got started. And then I'm gonna go and clean up uh, a little bit like get a little bit of the um, dead skin and stuff off of my face I know that sounds really weird and gross but uh, my makeup actually sits a lot better I don't do this a lot <clears throat> I don't do my own brows a lot and I don't do what I'm about to do on my face a lot because um, I already use scrubs and uh, face mask and stuff but sometimes you have like the little hairs that grow on your face and it helps that they're gone then your face uh, your makeup will sit a lot better on your skin so yeah I'm just gonna do that I'm using my um, NYX brow pencil in the shade espresso to do my brow since this is the it was supposed to be a soft glam look so I used pencil instead of um, dip brow to on my brows usually they're a lot darker when I use a dip brow which is fine because my hair is dark but for the soft looks, I really wanted my brows a little lighter. Plus, they're brown anyway. So, I mean, it just, I know sometimes people are like, it looks funny because my hair is different, but I think it looks fine. I change them all the time. It doesn't really matter. It looks fine once the makeup look is done. And my hair isn't jet black, despite what it looks like on camera. It's actually, when it's summertime, it's way more brown than it is dark black anyways but yeah I'm just cleaning them up uh, after I use the razor and did the pencil it was a lot easier to get them shaped and I'm actually gonna conceal off camera just because uh, it wasn't necessary to show after I already did my brows also and I, I like the pencil because I can just wipe away any little mistakes I have and I'm actually can uh, when I put my foundation and stuff on I can go over it and um, put it right back on and fix my brows if I need to but dip brow it's completely different it's really hard for me plus my skin's all already oily so it's a lot harder time to do it but I did my brows off camera they're a lot neater now and um, I used the Tarte creaseless concealer on them and on my eyelids since I'm using a light light pink I'm gonna use the Too Faced new concealer shade in maple it's a little more yellow than my mocha that I use on my face but it doesn't give me too much of a difference if I want my under eyes or whatever my highlight areas to be really bright I use that and I'm gonna put a little bit more on each lid and tap to get that um, I tapped with my real techniques blender just to get that coverage you don't really want to swipe or anything kind of messes it up I adjusted my brightness and then I took Black Radiance um, medium to dark contour palette and I use the, the uh, tan shade in there to set my concealer because I have really like I have um, my eyelids have like a permanent crease on them like it's like an extra flap or whatever on my eyelid you'll see when I like look straight 
it's really annoying because when I do my makeup, I look down. But then once it's on there and I look straight, you can see that the crease is really bad. So I definitely said it. I took my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and I'm using the color Shy. And like I said, it's really, really light. So I kind of packed it on there and put it on there, but it obviously is coming up, which I was really happy with. It's a little darker than I intended, but with everything else, it's gonna look it's gonna look just fine. But I did it to both eyes, and I just kind of packed first and then blended a little bit. I used one of my Morphe brushes. This is like I have a few of these blending brushes. They're my favorite. They're really fluffy. I can't remember what number it is, but. I, I um, bought quite a few of them and then when we moved here to Washington it was awful because they left, they left a lot of my makeup there. I have much more makeup but I guess it was time for a new start so they kind of just left it at my mom's old house so I hope she's enjoying it. After that I took the shade next to it called Flamingo and it's a brighter pink shade and it gave it, it was a little more hot pink which is where I put it right above my crease um, and blended it out and personally I thought that you know it doesn't seem like it's really showing up on camera but once I add the other pinks you'll be able to see it I wanted to um, I thought about doing a cut crease but I was like no 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 I really like cutting my crease, but I'm gonna actually use this pink. It was really bright, and then I was, it didn't come up, so I just sprayed it with my All Nighter Spray from Urban Decay, and uh, there we go. It's on there now. Showed up a lot better, and I didn't want it to look like a cut crease, which was really hard to do, because that's all I wanted to do, and it kind of like, got up above in um, my transitioning colors so I'm gonna go back with flamingo and the shade shy and clean it up so it doesn't look so messy because I kind of just like threw it on there but I'm gonna clean it up and yeah you see I took flamingo and I just went right over top not too much just to clean it up a little bit and I'm gonna take a shade in there a uh, new shade and it's gonna be bossy and I'm gonna put it on the outside of my crease there it is right there and it looks more brown than it actually is when it's on yeah it was more of like a maroon a brownish maroon which looked really good I packed it in there first and I didn't want to blend it out yet I got a clean brush and I blended it out because I didn't want to put too much in my crease or anything like that and make it look um, darker or smokier than I actually wanted it to look so I just went back with um, a clean brush and I'm actually gonna take a little flamingo and blend it out a little better. And I thought it looked really good. And um, after that, I believe I'm gonna go in with Angelic is what it's called. And it looks a little pinker than it actually does in person. Um, I put it on there and it had pink and gold and white in it and it actually gave it a little more pop which doesn't seem like much when I have it like this but um, with the bossy and after I do my liner and stuff it looks a lot better I just went back with the original pink I had on my lid to give it a, a halo effect and then I took this shade and I believe it's called Bay and I used it as my brow highlight and honestly, it was uh, better than what I thought. I took a clean brush and just wanted to blend it with all the other colors I already had on. I didn't want a harsh line, but it had a little glitter in it. And then for my inner eye highlight, I took Moon Dust, and it was more of a gold. It was a really light gold, and I thought it wasn't going to work, but it actually looked really good. And I tried to take Bossy and Flamingo for my waterline, but... I needed concealer usually I can it depends on the palette but I'm gonna go back and do it again once I put on my foundation and everything I take this old covergirl eyeliner and try to do it um, it turned out good but I had to go over top of it with one that showed up more I mean you would have thought this was like a light gray or brown it was just not not doing what it was supposed to be doing 
like I have a lot of product on there and it wasn't working I like the brush though but I had to go take a different one and I went over top and it's gonna be a lot darker but this is what I struggle with the most and for me to get it as good as I did and it turned out as well I was really happy with this look like usually they're uneven it's too thick and it's hiding all of my makeup that I just did but as you can see it's not that wing is cut and it looks amazing I was very proud of myself I'm not gonna lie so um, when I did my lashes I did them off camera because I was very concerned that I was gonna mess it up somehow like I was just hyping myself up and I was gonna mess it up somehow and I don't know usually I won't mess up my lashes lashes are really easy for me to put on but I didn't want this video to be too too long so I just did it off camera anyways and yeah it just I sprayed a little face spray on not setting um spray but it had rose hemp and it's like really good for the skin I can't remember the name of it though but with this I took the Maybelline face primer it's like a really light fluffy it, it it felt really good when I put it on um I don't use it that often but it kind of matted me out a little bit not a lot but it took that shine away which I enjoyed this is my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Spice Rum, of course. Um, I just wet a flat brush that I had and spread that all over. I mean, it is it evens out my skin a lot. I don't have too much hyperpigmentation, but this match is really good. And I feel like it's buildable. It says medium, medium to full coverage, or I believe it says full coverage, but more... To me, it's medium coverage, which is fine, especially if I don't have like big plans, but I still want my face to look really good. So I use that foundation. I haven't found one in the same shade that matches as well and doesn't like get really dark once I put it on or anything like that. So I appreciated that. Um, this is the same concealer I used on my eyes, the Too Faced Born This Way, their new concealer shade in the shade. I believe this actually is mocha and not maple that I use on my eyes. I believe it's my mocha one that I have. And I just use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And man, when I say when I go under my eyes into that concealer, my face just gets so slim. And I haven't even like contoured yet. Like It just slims up my face and brightens my face so much. This one though, this concealer, if I use other ones, it doesn't do the same. Like, this one just makes my skin look really, really well. Like, really, really good. And this also supposed to be, you can use it as a foundation. And I think that helps. It has a different kind of cut coverage than other concealers. I don't want it to, like, I don't know. I don't want it to be on my face and I just feel like it doesn't look like me. Because I still look at, like myself when I put on makeup. I just like a better version of myself. I don't want makeup that once I take it off, you're like, oh my God, who is that? Like you wouldn't be able to pull me out of a lineup or something. So here is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I really liked filming this. Um, I'm not a fan of pink, but I actually look pretty good in it. But you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.